hello YouTube and welcome back to my life. Uh, so today, well tonight, I am at my dad's house. As you can see, the background has changed. Um, it has been a ludicrous crazy day. Uh, starting with getting up early, which I never do. Fighting back the nausea that inevitably comes with getting up earlier. Um, <laughs> the intention was to take one of my friends to his hospital appointment. Um, but this would be the one day that Stephen sleeps in. So instead of bringing the car to me at half past seven in the morning, he brought it to me at half past nine. <laughs> um, I did manage to take Tony to his appointment, but I couldn't stay and hang around for him, which was a shame. Um, but I dashed back uh, in time to have a very quick hot chocolate with the knitters and see uh, one knitter in particular. Hello Rachel, um, who I haven't seen for ages, for about five minutes before I then had to dash off to Pain Club as it's become officially known. Uh, so that's then three hours of lectures and um, Guided movement, not physio, guided movement and mindfulness. Um, then back home, sleep for an hour because I just, the, there was no way that I was going to be able to do the two and a half hour drive up to Newcastle without having a bit of a rest in the middle of the day. I desperately didn't want to get back out of that bed, but Stephen coaxed me out with a cup of tea and uh, a bite to eat. And then straight on the motorway up north, where I was kept going by my marvellous iPods collection. Um, interesting, going from Pia Gint to Marilyn Manson. And I think my ears are still bleeding from that. But, you know, that's what my musical tastes do. Um, then... I don't know, in almost two hours we're sitting chatting with Dad when both of us really just wanted to go to bed but also we couldn't shut up because that's what we're like. So, amazingly, I have survived today. Then I have to survive tomorrow, which is going to be similarly busy but Dad will be doing most of the driving until the evening when I have to drive back down to Sheffield. Um, so it should be a little bit less intense for me and I get a little bit of a lie in. I've written down a shopping list. He said as long as he has a list he can go and do his shopping and I can have an extra hour in bed. And uh, then we're going to meet up with my stepdad for coffee. Then lunch, then hospital because that's the reason why I'm up obviously is to get dad's scan results so both nervous and kind of anticipating the results that you know dad seems pretty okay so I'm fairly sure they should be decent or in the worst case scenario it's the cancer is starting to return and he needs to go back on chemo but um, he seems so well at the moment, I can't imagine that there's any serious news. I would be obviously very upset by that, but also kind of surprised. Um, so, yeah, my brain is now shutting down. It has been an extraordinarily long day. And... I'm still a little bit shocked that I've survived it. Um, but I can feel my hands starting to shake trying to hold the phone now. So, um, yeah, I think I'd, uh, I'd better go and have a lie down and get some sleep. So, night night, everybody.